Hey everybody, Eve here. Uh, continuing the discussion of what's eating at you, one of the most common complaints that I'm receiving is porn and uh, the wives who suffer as a result of it. So I decided to devote this series, this particular discussion today, to that subject, and that is also why I don't want to see anyone to see my face or to actually view me uh, during this recording because, uh, to be honest with you, I'm a little self-conscious about it. So, I decided to call this Why Porn Sucks, and here's why. It's fornication if you're single, adultery if you're married. The men who use it are sneaks, liars, and hypocrites. Why else is it done in secrecy if there is no shame? Why would you prefer your daughters and wives not engage in it? It's filmed prostitution if men pay for it. Because it's a form of cheating, most users eventually act out in real life what they have viewed on film. It's like any other form of addiction. A tolerance develops and users become desensitized over time, so it always escalates and users will, will require it more often and require more aberrant and more deviant forms of porn to achieve the same arousal as previously. Porn is becoming increasingly more violent and the participants in the films keep getting younger. This includes teenagers and even preteens. Well, I'll even go so far as sometimes infants to meet the needs of this new generation of desensitized users. <clears throat> Excuse me. It degrades women and sex because many of the women in the porn films are actually being abused, having to perform sexual acts in ways that are physically damaging and that they wouldn't enjoy in real life. Men who view I'm sorry, men who view porn aren't aware, and some wouldn't care anyway, that most of these women must use drugs and alcohol in order to endure these acts. Most of the women in porn are between the ages of 18 to 25. Most viewers have daughters younger than these women. This further humiliates the wives of men who view and masturbate to porn. It hurts the women who work in it, even those who believe they enjoy it. What woman enjoys being used by an industry with no respect for you and used by millions of men with no respect for you? Forgive me for getting too graphic here, but this point has to be made. What woman can physically endure the vaginal or anal penetration of two men while simultaneously performing fellatio on a third? It's a myth that most women choose to be in the profession of porn. The star of one of the highest grossing porn films of all time had a gun held to her head during the filming. She also wasn't paid. Many aren't even aware they're being filmed. These women are the broken and abused while pretending to enjoy the very thing that breaks them. This profession keeps many of them, many them, Wives, isolated and alone forever. I mean, I'm sorry. Forgive me. This profession keeps many of the women working in it isolated and alone forever, and for good reason. Real-life men don't form lasting relationships with porn stars. In real life, these women find themselves continually used, abused, and abandoned because of this profession. Large companies, and I'm not going to give any names for legal ramifications, own the companies that make and produce porn. They are the ones making the money off of these women, not the women. And if you knew the names of some of these companies, you'd throw away a lot of the products and appliances that you use every day. It destroys relationships, marriages, and damages families. Men, stop using porn. Women don't want to be treated like objects. We are more than the sum of our body parts. We are real people with real lives, and we want the same things in life. Much of porn is such a deep form of violence and contempt against women. Can't you see that? Most women despise porn, and wives are disgusted by it. Some go along thinking it will keep their partners or husbands happy. 
at the cost of their own happiness. As a man becomes conditioned to be sexually aroused by women in porn, the desire for his wife and his ability to porn, perform sexually with her often decreases. He will prefer masturbating to pornographic images to having sex with his wife. Most women are deeply hurt when they discover their husbands are viewing pornography. It's as serious as an extramarital affair, and most feel deeply betrayed by their husbands. They claim they no longer really know their husbands because of this dark secret life. Because wives see pornography use as adultery, their trust in their husbands is broken sometimes beyond repair or even res restoration of any kind. They are left gutted. It's shameful when they discover their husbands masturbating to porn. They resort to withdrawal and isol isolation because of their willingness to share that discovery with other friends and family members because now you have to confess your perfect relationship is less than perfect. They lose respect for their husbands and no longer see them as good role models and begin to distrust them around other female friends, family members, and children. They feel like fools for ever having trusted them. Here's what the wives and men who use porn experience. Anger, depression, shame, isolation, humiliation, degradation, hopelessness, helplessness, anxiety, insomnia, uncontrollable crying, and flashbacks to when they first discovered their husbands using porn. Many contemplate suicide and some will cope by self-medicating with drugs and alcohol. Porn plays a significant role in over 50% of divorces. Porn is adultery, invites comparison, encourages lies, lowers self-worth, and robs us of true intimacy. If men weren't willing to pay for it, women wouldn't provide the service. None of these women would do it for free. Men need to realize how deeply pornography use hurts women and just stop using it. Women need to stand up for their brothers and sisters in the porn trade and fight to end their abuse and pain. In summary, porn is a form of hate prom propaganda. Excuse me. In summary, porn is a form of hate propaganda whose effects are especially powerful because it bypasses rational thought and goes straight for the genitals, conditioning the viewer to respond sexually to a repressive sexual ideology. This is Eve, and please share with me, talk to me, what's eating at you?